What assumptions do people make looking at my face? My suspicion is that my face is sort of slightly forbidding and kind of hard. And what you don't get from that is how eccentric and neurotic I am, I suppose. <laughs> what a goofball. I don't consider myself, you know, extremely handsome person by any, you know, at all. You know, you see, you see men and you go, well, you know, that's an incredibly good looking man. I don't feel, I don't feel in that racket. Listen, I have, I've had my moments, you know, when I think, oh, yeah, I think I might be sexy right now. <laughs> I feel sexy. But I think I have, I feel like I've gotten better looking as I've gotten older. My lips uh, are quite, I feel, they feel quite English, quite thin. You know, not particularly luscious lips at all. My nose, my nose is probably the thing I like least about my face. I find it a bit pointy. Yeah, but if I could ask for one thing, I would ask uh, for the, the ability to grow a little beard. Is it manly or a sign of virility? All that hair on your face. It'd probably drive me nuts. I turned 40 last year. I kind of like the idea of getting older in my face. I have these lines, which um, have always been there since I was quite young. They're sort of creases. They're probably my favourite feature. They're almost like, they feel like kind of scars because they're sort of they're very long sort of indentations. I think the thing I'm vain about, I think, is my hair, actually. Um, I worry about losing it. I feel younger than I am. I feel younger than my years. They definitely haven't settled down. I'm definitely a liberal, uh, hippie kid. And that, I feel that's the bit that um, isn't present when people first hit. Uh, the exterior of me. Yeah, I think I might be done. Yeah. I've been tormented by a lot of things and my face is bloodied and muddied. I haven't really taken care of myself.